Hi everybody, I'm Jen Krieger. I am Chief Agile Architect at Red Hat. However, I'm not here to talk to you about Agile, so you can take a deep breath. Um, I'm actually here to talk about my second hobby, which is Legos. Um, and for all of you who cringed when I said Legos, you can come and speak to me afterwards. I know I get uh, creamed about that online a lot. So, um, when I first started working with small circuits and open source hardware technology, I was also playing with Legos at the time. I'm kind of a big kid. And I said, well, geez, the one thing missing in these things that I'm building is lighting. And as I officially learned almost immediately, because everyone told me, there's actually kits you can buy online. The one problem with them is that they're really expensive. And so you can go to any number one of these companies and purchase $150 worth of free fabricated lights for your actual Lego kits. Or you can do what I did, which was do it yourself. However, I also wanted to see what one of these kits looked like. And so as you can see on the uh, right-hand side, um, this is actually a picture of one of my Legos with one of the prefabricated kits in it. And you can see all the uh, wires going through actually the, uh, the roof. And so when you actually try to take the house apart so you can see inside, because uh, I don't know if anybody of you know, but Lego actually has some really, really cute things going inside. Particularly in this one, it was the Parisian restaurant. They've got a really cool wine kind of shelf, and in the kitchen around the corner, there's a chef, and he's making a turkey for the people in the restaurant. And so without the wires, you can take the roof off and you can see inside. With the wires, you're kind of stuck leaving the wires where they are. Number three, you might go through a little batteries. And so these are all the batteries that I used up in making this tiny little thing up here. It's amazing. This tiny little thing consumed most of those batteries. And the reason consumed most of those batteries is because I had a short in the back and I didn't know it. And so I thought when I turned the switch to the off section that it wouldn't actually consume the battery, but it was. And so I repeatedly gone through batteries not knowing what I actually, what was wrong. So if you're going to put holes in your Lego like I do, you can actually melt plastic with your Dremel. And so slow and easy is better than fast and hard. <laughs> SMD LEDs, so how many of you have used SMDs? They are super tiny. And if you try to peel them, they will fly everywhere. And you will lose half a strip of LEDs almost instantly. I cannot tell you how many of those I've found stuck to the bottom of my foot. If I've walked around my apartment barefoot, they're all over my house. Uh, troubleshooting hardware is a dynamic pain in the ass. That's quite frankly the only thing I can say about it. I spent hours trying to figure out what was wrong with these twinkle boards. Come to find out, it wasn't the board, it was me. How many of you have had that problem before? Yeah, thank you, because that makes me feel better. Uh, four hours to try to figure out what I was doing wrong. I was just connecting it incorrectly. Seven, the right tools help. So uh, my favorite tool is up on the left-hand side is the multimeter. That is the only thing that works to find the short in the battery, so you know what's actually going wrong. I also love Cutter B uh, tweezers because they have a tiny, tiny head at the very end of them, and that's really good with those tiny, tiny LEDs that you actually uh, saw earlier. And of course, my Heiko uh, lovely, tiny little tipped soldering iron, which makes it so easy to do fussy, fussy work. So I said earlier, <laughs> that I didn't want to spend like $100 on a prefabricated kit. Well, guess what? It's really expensive to have this hobby, and this is only SparkFun and Adafruit. It's not my Amazon account, because I was actually embarrassed to do a screenshot of all the things I've bought to actually make this a hobby that, that didn't make me curse uh, repeatedly over and over and over again. Also, too, if you have cats, it does not help. This is my cat, Kip. He likes to knock Legos all over my apartment. My other cat likes to eat them. Um, including, you might notice, my sweater, which I did not notice until I pulled out of my suitcase this morning. He likes to just basically eat anything. But at the end of the day, the best thing about it is it is actually really worth the effect. So thank you.